Halloween is a time for spooky thrills, but toxic ingredients in some of your kids' face paints and powders are the real scare. Arsenic, cadmium, chromium, and lead were found in Halloween face paint kits as part of a 2016 investigation by the Breast Cancer Fund. And in 2020, the Environmental Working Group found asbestos in a toy makeup kit. Even small exposures to these toxins are dangerous. Lead, as we know, affects brain development, asbestos is a carcinogen, and cadmium is an endocrine disruptor linked to certain types of cancer and other health problems. Makeup and cosmetics are regulated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. So how do these dangerous toxins make it onto store shelves? Well, unlike its oversight of food or drugs, the FDA actually has very little power to regulate the safety of cosmetic ingredients. It surveys products that are already on the market, but it does not approve their safety beforehand. So what should parents do when a kid wants to be Dracula for Halloween? If kids insist on using face paints and powders, avoid ones with the darkest pigments. As the Breast Cancer Fund study found, those contain a higher concentration of heavy metals. Consumer Reports says your best bet might be to skip the store-bought stuff altogether. There are a lot of DIY makeup recipes online that use face moisturizer, cornstarch, and natural coloring so you know exactly what's on your child's skin. Happy Halloween. And one more thing, children are more than twice as likely to be hit by a car on Halloween than on any other day of the year. So to be safe, avoid masks that block their vision, give them glow sticks, and add reflective tape to their costumes and bags so that they can be more easily seen, even on the darkest and spookiest of Halloween nights. I'm Susan Hogan, News 4.